In recent years, VO2 max has become a key indicator of longevity. The higher the VO2 max, the higher your likelihood of good health in your old age. What is VO2 max? Well, it's the highest amount of oxygen your body can take in and use over a minute. And there is a genetic ceiling to that. But for most of us, we're nowhere near operating at that sort of level. So there's always room for improvement. So is VO2 max the answer? Well, it probably is, but there's also a lot more to it. And over the course of the video, we're going to look at reasons why other things play a part too. So number one is VO2 max is very closely linked to your weight. When VO2 max is calculated, it is calculated as a ratio between the oxygen you take in and your weight. So basically, lose weight and your VO2 max could well go up. And as we all know, diet is the key thing for weight management. So if you want to have high VO2 max or improve it, you can improve your weight and make sure you're eating a quality diet. And obviously that in as much itself can lead to better health. Secondly, and closely linked to that, is body composition. The more muscle you have, the higher your VO2 max is likely to be. Muscle uses oxygen, obviously. So if you can change your body composition by doing, for example, resistance training, weight training, and gain muscle, you're probably going to improve your VO2 max. which is why, apart from anything else, resistance training is one of the key things that influence longevity and how well your body stands up to the ravages of time. If you're finding this content interesting and useful, it would be really great for the channel if you could watch the video to the end. It's the biggest thing that makes a difference to YouTube and obviously one of the key ways to improve VO2 max is by doing VO2 max training and intervals and forcing your body to develop its ability to use that oxygen and VO2 max intervals are those short sharp intervals of anything from two to eight minutes long four and five minute intervals often being those most used. And it's not a flat out sprint. You don't want to go anaerobically. You want to be forcing your body to use oxygen. So it's that rate that's just above threshold. So intervals that are maybe 110, 120, up to 125% of threshold. And you should be trying to hold that power across the interval. If you're interested in VO2 max intervals, there are more videos on the channel about them. I'll drop a couple of links at the end of this video. But bear in mind, as you get older, doing too much VO2 isn't necessarily good for you. And probably keeping it at maybe once or twice a week is more than enough. As more than that, can in itself lead to other issues for long time endurance athletes like AF and the build up of plaque in arteries. If you're interested in finding out more about that and you haven't seen it, there is a video on the channel chatting to Dr. Kreitoff about heart health and endurance sports. And we also need to remember that VO2 is just one of the things that indicates longevity, some of them even being things like 
being able to balance and grip strength are good indicators of how you're going to be in your older age so if you've got any comments on vo2 and what you do to try to improve it or if you know what yours is and whether it's on the up don't forget to drop it in the comments below one thing to remember of course is vo2 inevitably does reduce over the years but as with everything you can minimize it and slow down that decrease in vo2 and muscle mass and those sorts of things so one thing to bear in mind of course is that people who show a high vo2 max often have other good things going on in their lives too they are incorporating good diets into their life they are incorporating resistance training and things like that and all those things have a massive effect on your overall longevity so obviously high vo2 is an indicator but there's a lot more going on to vo2 max that we might not see at first glance So one of the key things is to take that holistic view and build lots of good things into your lifestyle. Well, I hope you found the video interesting and useful. And until next time, bye for now.